Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more Field of Glory Empires Ardesia playthrough episode 9 of the series here. We were just moving our army to the north, hoping to gather up a few more units before we push off. I was thinking maybe up to this uh, territory here with the copper. I think eventually that could be... I don't know. A useful territory or such. So when the street parlor was finished here, the craft district. So I think we were all set and ready actually for the next turn. I don't think there was anything else we had to do. We had peaced out. Um, the war went pretty good. I know in terms of progress and decadence, I'm kind of suffering a little bit here, but I want to get that fifth progress token too. Maybe I'll jump to that objective. I could have actually come down and swipe this, I see. And nobody owns it right now. Maybe we should turn around real quick. And do that instead. Why don't we do that? It's not a half bad idea. I think our army needs to repair a little bit though. I'll take a look and see. That's why I'm not sending them all the way in. Macedonia might go for it anyways. But if we can get that objective, it will get us the five progress tokens. Should be really good. I don't know where we go from there. We're almost in the red. But we are top four now. Top Within the top five for legacy points. We have a new ruler. Skrillo. This ruler is deeply fond of art artists and will support them financially. Legacy gain increased by 10%. Culture bonus by 10%. Nice. This guy could be pretty useful, actually. Plus 12, plus 10. Yeah, see where that could uh, that could come in handy. Get a combat power of 110. Defend with approximately 6 units. Yeah, we shouldn't have an issue. New population here, going for food growth in six turns. I'm gonna go ahead and, and queue up the, I think the sawmill for the bonus for infrastructure. Or we can import this wine here. We get a bonus of four money. Now we get three money, a bonus of four money if we have these items. It needs wine. Wine and laugh, it gives us a loyalty bonus. Eh, let's go for the sawmill though. Now, if I drop this at six turns, 32 turns, 26. Okay, so we'll just uh, let it sit there for now. Get the other pop in the six turns. Meanwhile, we got another population here. It's going to grow in seven turns now. We've almost got a Ford up. Okay. Well, aside from that, nothing else. I feel like you could uh, go through turns pretty quickly in this game if you wanted to. Still staying there. Up to three now. Carthage, though, catching up real quick. That 10% increase for the legacy might help us out some. Yeah, so I definitely want to go after that. Sawhouse has been completed and a new population, which means we're going to be able to build... I can uh, do the province there as well. So let's go for the hmm. crafter district's always really good. Talented craftsman, commerce bonus 10%. Yeah. Let's get the crafter's district. Okay, with nine turns, new population here. We're still working on the clothing manufacturer. It's been dumped into food. I wouldn't mind dumping it into culture. Doesn't really hurt growth that much. I could go up here for third, but it's not that many additional turns. Oh, we are negative for infrastructure though. Growth of nine, let's do that. I like that. The fort here has been completed. We could get the hemp field. The furnace is always really good. 
We don't have any coal. But we can get iron and it'll give us metal. Ooh, this one's really good. Bonus to culture. Costs a lot of money. But we get a decadence reduction. Yeah, let's go for that. I'm willing to pay the extra money for that, actually. And we got seven turns to find the money someplace else. New population here as well. We're going for the large farm. So I'll upgrade our farm here. Growth in five turns. Growth in six. If I do that, still growth in six. And we get plus 12 gold. I see we built a building to the south too. I missed that. All right, let's view the battle here. And they don't have the front completely covered, so I think we'll be okay. Yeah, no issue here. Well, that'd be another objective captured. And a pretty good province, actually. Oh, I don't know if it was somebody's city at some point. Okay, we got plus five for the CDR, but... I don't think we got the progress token out of it. Oh, we're not done yet. Okay, so we go watch the battle again. I guess it's not done though. I guess we got a siege. What is going on here? Well, either way, we definitely don't have it. Okay. Smokehouse has been completed here. That'll be good. Let's go for the furnace here. And growth in two turns. A wealthy citizen donated some infrastructure. Okay, so we've almost got the farm here. That'll help growth. People retiring from active duty or generals. Okay. New province formed. Which gave us a governor's palace, so more uh, culture here. And unlocks the heavy infantry here for this uh, region. Does give us a loyalty pen penalty, I see. We're working on the theater here. It's a pretty heavy culture area. Uh, if I do that, still done in three turns, but we get growth of 14 instead of 41. Yeah, take that for what it's worth. There, this was done here. Well, I don't know. I think we completed the theater. So maybe the... Maybe the furnace next. Trying to get our gold count up a little bit more. Like to recruit some more units. It'd be nice to get a second army going. Ah, uh, burns all of our gold. Let's just do these for now. The heavy infantry is pretty pricey. All right, I thought I was going to put them into my first army. I might put some units in there by the time I get up. But yeah, I'd really like to get a second army going. And then I've got a second army marching around capturing objectives and trying to get us that extra progress token if we can get it. Carthage passing us again. We breached the walls and are ready to assault. Nice. So yeah, we are just sieging this here. I 
So uh, I guess we'll go ahead and assault it. Soon as we uh, get the chance. Farm completed here. I'd like to get a culture building. Herbalist is completed here. Let's get uh, the clear. Let's see. Boy. Clear water. It only takes a turn. Monument. Okay. Yep. We'll go. Whew, minus 15 more money though. Let's get the uh, market. Since we can import pottery. A sudden increase in birth rate has been observed. Ah, oh, we gained one extra population. That's pretty cool. And it still has growth in six turns plus the tannery going on. Um, all right. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to increase infrastructure here. Oh, mass is looking bad. All right. Looks like we took that though with the assault without an issue. And we got our five progress tokens. All right, the siege is over. Dashi stands victorious. Nice. Citizen staff says forms convert. These reduce decadence. Yeah, grant citizenship to foreigners. Citizenship forms majors. Form citizens' rights. So, how do we reduce decadence with this? Wealthy foreigners can now acquire citizenship under certain conditions in your capital region and all regions of your capital province and non-main. Ethnicity citizen can become of your ethnicity. I wish it kind of just told you what the benefits were. Like had a blurb of what, like a little blurb of it and then just told you what the benefits were. Each non-main ethnicity citizen in your nation can become one of your main ethnicity Series of reforms and laws touching on the rights and due decisions. The government tends to gain efficiency and stability from this decision. A vast reform by a leading noble or senator. Perhaps the head of state himself has initiated. The changes touch on many layers of the society. And many citizens see their daily life altered because of that. Depending on the administrator, administrative acumen of the ruler from abysmal to superior, progress tokens or decadence can be gained or removed. In addition to that, each region will gain either a negative or positive modifier on commerce and culture as many citizens' lives are impacted by the changes. Well, our ruler is of good health, age 47. I don't see anything here that says that he's good or bad at any of this stuff. I'm going to try this anyways and just see what happens. If we don't try it, we don't know. Change your government, change your government to tribal confederation. Civilization level three. Until you do so, you'll get an increased penalty from decadence. Be sure not to slip into the lowest tier of the CDR or you will lose the possibility to evolve. Now go for the evolve. Nice. So that'll that'll help us out, I'm hoping. Yeah, minus 13 decadence change. Plus nine. We're kind of turning this around a little bit. Emergency levies we don't need. And can be reformed, which we did. All right, so we destroyed a palace, I'm guessing. Yep, abandoned local palace. They've pledged allegiance. Okay. So they've got a cult site. Okay. A furnace, training ground, and city walls. 
Needs flax missing. So this is costing me nine gold because it doesn't have any flax. So we're going to disassemble that. And I'd like to go ahead and get some clear water here for the health bonus. And uh, yeah, I'm going to move somebody up there so we grow in two turns. Let's go ahead and move our army out unless I want to take this. I mean, it's right there, right for the picking. It's not the best in the world. It's got a worship place, tribal council, a pirate's lair. Hmm. We'll unlock pirate ship. It would be our first coastal province unless we go over here. But it would give us access to the coast down here. Yeah, I think we'd be crazy not to take this. Ooh, we'll defend with approximately 11 units, though. Do we have the power to take it? I think so. Is it mountainous? It's hills. I think we'll get a bonus. A lot of our units are veteran, too. Let's give it a shot. Despite the local defenders, Dashi is raided by Dard Dardarni. Oh, man, they raided us. Well, they won't be a a around for too long, I don't think. Money and culture, bonus of three if we, three money and five culture if we have papyrus. But we do get a bonus of money and culture regardless. Pick that up. Uh, I'm going to go for the growth in six turns though. So we'll put it on pause. New population here, growth in six. They've almost got the furnace. And the tannery's been completed, so that's some extra gold. And another market would be nice. Since it needs pottery, and we've got it, so. And then let's make a few more units for our army here. It says a combat power of 57. We'll give him a leader. A 1-1 one, one seems nice, unless we want, let's see, guerrilla warfare. Ambusher, determined, you get a movement. Yeah, let's go for the 1-1, one, one, though. And we'll recruit a heavy infantry. And another light infantry. Oh boy, okay. Let's see, four units to our six, though. I think we can do this. No, maybe not. Oh, this is why I'm building the next army. So they got more units, but we're definitely stronger combat power-wise. Yeah, that was pretty fair. Oh, so far, it's almost a draw. Now nah, we've got we've got it there. Well, there's a large part of that army left. Dang it. Oh no, I was really hoping I could uh, hold these guys back. We'll have to take this province now. Counts as an objective though. All right, Dashes will now be known as a tribal confederation. Perfect. So status age 13, young industrious tribal confederation. All right. And we've received one slave. All right. 
We took this region here. It's working on herbalist currently. Clear water has been completed here. Copper mine needs copper. Local trade good cost. Does it have copper? It does have copper. Yeah, let's go for a copper mine for that infrastructure and metal. I like that. Meanwhile, we'll send our army back, I guess. At least keep them in the area. Eight turns here. Do that. Okay, perfect. Okay. Get a loyalty bonus and a taxation bonus, but it increases your decadence. Like to not increase decadence if I can help it. Clear water wouldn't be bad. We don't have anything to help infrastructure here though, so why don't we do that? And then 66 combat power. I think we could take these guys out, so let's do that. That'll be good. Then if we build up some more gold, we could take out a few more things. And we're getting income 11. Really, they moved into another area before I could catch them. But it's got walls, so they had to siege it. So we should be able to catch them next turn. Whoa, plus 23. Probably switching to a young tribal confederation. It even gave us another progress token. Nice, that makes me feel a lot better. We're already up, back up in the green again. For a little bit anyways. Okay. Progress tier reached, okay. Okay. Plus five, minus 145. That, that was huge. That was so huge. But we needed to do that, so that's where the uh, decadence there, moving up in age really, really shines. Nice. So let's see. Dashi saw an invasion by Dardarni. The local forces crushed the invaders. Herbalist has been completed. Okay, there's a new population. Dang, so they actually tried to invade this. Why am I not surprised? I get a fishery. It actually gives you a siege resist, but you get a bonus of five money from sales. If you have them, we don't, but you get some food and it produces fish, which we might need, I don't know, at some point. Maybe. Angry citizens, huh? Be a little bit of culture here. Some of these citizens are angry, some of them are not. Fortune teller gets us money. For the clear water. Well. Yeah. I was thinking the public works too. But we'll just go for the health bonus. And these guys destroyed the local palace, which is fine. That'll help their brickwork go up, I guess. New population here. And we destroyed the abandoned local palace here.
All right, so I'll march up and catch these guys. I'm actually gonna make some more troops. So I have them ready to go. And perfect. I think we're gonna have to take our our Darny out or whatever. I don't know. The next objective is like all the way over here. Unless we go more north. I want to get that uh, copper. but We'll have to wait and see since we're at the end of this episode. I want to thank you all for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Look forward to seeing you next time.